Hello everyone, welcome back to Roses in Houston Garden. This rose right here is Florentina, which is a climbing rose. And I just cut uh, from three different stems here because some um, these are spent blooms have been open, opening up a few days as you can see so I removed them so that there will be more blooms to come and this one right here is so pretty the color um, not the color the weather this morning is on a cooler side here is about 66 degree when I woke up and came out but it is quickly increasing to uh, be warmer so this bloom is so round and cup with the weather cooling down we are going to see more more and more um, cupped shaped blooms from these roses which I am super excited about and on this stem right here as you can see there are so many <clears throat> but on here and <clears throat> as these roses are continue to bloom I think I'm going to update more frequently definitely stay tuned if you love roses and live in hot and humid climate doesn't have to be in the Houston area only if you're in Louisiana um, Alabama or any other southern state that have similar hot and humid climate and I also would like to hear from you as well where you are located and what roses you like to grow back to Florentina so this rose if you look back at my video during the summertime at some point it really suffer heat stress like most part of the plant turn pretty much yellow and brown but now it is slowly and nicely recovering uh, this stem right here it has new growth which is so lovely this part this stem I um, I don't have to train it at all it's just the way that it the stem that grows from here right this is created by nature so with climbing roses you want you want the, you don't want the stem to go up right straight otherwise you will only get the bloom at the tip so you want to maximize that by training it to go horizontal direction but this one it's it, it is already doing it by itself which will promote lateral growth so you will have more stems along this cane and that means more blooms as well same as uh, this stem right here the sun here you go so this one right here is doing the same thing it has lateral growth along that line but if your roses your climbing roses um, do not do that by itself you definitely want to train and you can use like twine you can use structures you can use all kinds of different things to help it in order to to create to promote lateral growth to maximize and get more blooms like this one here so that's Florentina which is German bread rose by Cordes
And if you are looking for more tips and how to's as far as how I care for my roses, you can check out rosesinhouston.com. I put together many free resources as well as some paid ones to help you create your own rose garden in your backyard. And I focus on um, the lazy way, the no spray method, if that is something that you are looking for as well. You can check that out on rosesinhouston.com. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.